Hello, Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you four questions centered around your brand that will help you grow your business in 2017. These were questions that Adam Chandler, my very good friend and mentor, taught me at the beginning of this past year that helped me focus my brand and my message and I wound up tripling my sales this year. Now a lot of times when we head into the final month of the year and we're getting ready for a new year we tend to focus on what we didn't do and we tend to beat ourselves up over it and I would do that all the time and what Adam taught me is that he had me focus on what my brand was because marketing is a message to market match and I didn't have my brand fully developed. So he gave me these four questions that help me clarify my message because my branding is my message and that's what's going to attract more people to me. So let's get to these four branding questions right now. The first question is what is your company's name? Now, the biggest mistake that many people make when they first get started is that they equate their company name to their primary network marketing company or their affiliate. And that is not the case. You want to be branding yourself as the authority and expert in the marketplace. The number one asset in your business is you. Now, eventually, you're going to need a company name for tax purposes as you grow your business and your income stream. So if you're first getting started, use your name, Inc., as your company name. Now this is going to grow as you answer the remaining questions. The second question is, what do you or your company stand for? So here's some guiding questions to help you with that. How are you going to impact the people you serve? How will you serve them? What are the feelings you want your market to have when they do business with you? The third question is, what do you or your company stand against? What are you protecting your market from? Remember, people do more to avoid pain than they will to gain pleasure. So how are you going to help protect them? Here are some examples. Are you going to help them free them from the bonds of debt? breaking the cycle of living a quiet life of desperation, not settling for less, having an us versus them mentality. That's what happened here in the United States during the 2016 presidential election. People were against the government and that's why we saw Donald Trump win the presidency. The final question that we have here is, what is your ultimate vision for your business? Why should people do business with you versus your competition? What skill sets do you have that you can add value to your market's lives? What are your emotional strengths that will help you solve your market's problems? Now here's what I want you to do with each of these four questions. Take time and answer them. Don't sit there and rush through. Do a question each day and Write about a paragraph or two. The more detailed and specific you are, the more this vision is going to come to pass and you're going to attract the right people to you. Did you find this video helpful today? Leave a comment and share. And make sure you stop by my website at drlisamthompson.com. And when you do, pick up a copy of my free book, The Five Online Tools You Need to Generate 7 to 10 Leads Per Day using social media. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.